Okay. Alright. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Bersama kita kembali ke dalam slot uh, Ansara Muda Higher Education Talk Series yang bertajuk Study Abroad Tips untuk USA. Okey, apa khabar semua? Alhamdulillah bertemu lagi kita pada hari ini pada masa yang sama dengan topik misian yang sangat menarik. Terima kasih kerana masih bersama-sama kami bersiaran langsung di platform Zoom dan Facebook Ansara Cawangan Taiping. Kepada anda yang masih belum mengikuti kami, jangan lupa untuk follow dan like uh, page uh, Facebook Ansara Cawangan Taiping, Instagram dan Twitter at Ansara Taiping serta channel YouTube Ansara Taiping bagi mendapatkan info-info serta perkembangan terkini Ansara Taiping. Rakan-rakan penonton, eloklah sekiranya uh, sebelum kita uh, eloklah kita memulakan majlis kita dengan Umul Kitab Al-Fatihah. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Sebelum kita mulakan majlis, saya ingin merakamkan ribuan terima kasih kepada rakan strategik Ansara Taiping iaitu unit bimbingan dan counseling MRSM Taiping, Amans Media, TNF Energy Sedia Merhad dan juga Outpost Taiping. Okey baik. Uh, hadirin hadirat sekalian, uh, pada hari ini kita sangat beruntung kerana bersama kita saudara Luqman Fikri Uh, merupakan bekas pelajar Emerson Taiping Batch SPM 2016 Juga sekarang ni merupakan final year student ya. Eh? Final year student uh, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering Di The Ohio State University Columbus, Ohio Okay Okay Encik Luqman, sihat eh hari ni? Sihat Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah, okay Terima kasih kerana sudi meluangkan masa untuk pengisian pada hari ini. Tanpa melingahkan masa lagi, uh, saya menjemput dan mempersilakan saudara Luqman untuk memberi perkongsian beliau. Okey, Luqman, space you uh, Terima kasih uh, kepada pengurus majlis uh, Anwar kerana um, terima kasih juga kepada uh, Cik, uh, Baim dan Cikgu Aisyah, wakil daripada Ansara dan Unit Perbingan Kaunseling yang merasa Taipin kerana memberi saya peluang untuk memberi sedikit perkongsian uh, mengenai Uh, pengalaman saya di uh, di US iaitu di United States. Uh. Sebelum tu uh, saya saya ingin uh, share screen saya. Uh, boleh nampak ke uh, screen saya? Boleh uh, okay. uh, Dengar tak suara saya dengan jelas? Sangat jelas. Okay. Uh, nampak eh uh, screen saya? Um, Like dia. Nampak, nampak. Ni dalam uh, mood, mood presentation sekarang. Takut. Okay. Oh, betul eh? Okay. Um, so like um, before I go into my sharing session, let me introduce myself again. Uh, my name is Muhammad Luqman Fikri bin Muhammad Nazri. Um, you can call me Luqman. Um, I'm going to become a fourth year mechanical engineering student this August. Uh, at the Ohio State University or OSU, the, uh, the local school here, um, I will uh, I will be expected to graduate in May 2022, which is next year. So it's not that long. I'm a Petronas scholar. Um, I'm a, I'm uh, SPM batch 20, 2016 in MRS and I'm also a class 07 in Home Room Generous. So like uh, before we go, let's me introduce the United States maps. So like uh, my university is located is in here at um, Ohio and, also, and Columbus is like located at the center of the Ohio. So even though the map is small, but it's very large. So if you want to go to like, let's say Ohio to Illinois is take around six hours to go there. And maybe some uh, OSU facts. So for the OSU mascot, it is called Brutus by eye. So here is the, uh, our mascot and our stadium is called the Shoes. It's one of the third largest stadium in the US. So this is the picture of the stadium. 
Yeah. So like, um, why did I study the U in the US? So like, um, in my opinion, is like, um, for me, is the first thing is the opportunities. Um, because like, uh, I know that in the US, the education system is quite flexible. Uh, uh, uh I can choose my subjects, even though like. Uh, even though I'm a mechanical engineering student, I can also choose subjects outside of my field, such as like uh, I'm taking um, physics class or art, art education class or history class. So it's kind of broad. And also like uh, I also get to learn new cultures. So um, in, the, in, the, in OSU, like it's one of the largest uh, international student community uh, here. So like you can see all uh, um, all different cultures, especially when there's a cultural events. So like you can see how they interact, how they perform, how how their uh, foods and other stuff like that. And also I I can I also can travel in the United States. There's a uh, many places, and we'll be be discussing about that later. The second point that I study in the US is like um, it's my dreams to study abroad. It's either UK or US, and this is saya dapat ke US, so saya saya sangat bersyukur kerana dapat study di uh, di luar negara. And lastly, is for encouragement from my parents. My parents like uh, give me some encouragement words um, just to go anywhere, and when I got. Uh, Petronas to go to the US, my parents said just go and learn their culture and study there for the experience. Okay, so um, here's the general flow for my journey to, to towards the US. So like um, starting from uh, after getting your result, SPM result, like I apply for a few scholarships. Um, here's a um, a few of them like Yayasan Hazana, Mara, and Petronas. So like um, for Petronas requirement at my time, the the requirement is like seven a seven or eight a's and above to apply this Petronas scholarship. And their interview is like um, it's two stages. Like for the first stage is computer test where they test the your maths and critical thinking skills and the second stage is case study where you will, will be will be in groups and will be given a situation where you have to present some uh, a solution uh, on for my time i got like for the mas masra uh, the kiosk masra and how to maximize their profit for the masra kiosk so our our team present a solution to the interview to the interview or to the officer. So like next, uh, after uh, after I got my result, uh, before this like, uh, before I got Petronas, I got a Mara scholarship and for Petronas, I got with this. So like, it's kind of sad for me. I didn't get Petronas at first. And then like a week before uh, I have to like daftar for the, GMI. I got I got Germany for my for Mara and a week before I registered for GM, uh, GMI, I got my Petronas scholarship. So my parents said, let's switch to Petronas. So I did. So yeah. Uh, so I I got my pet I got Petronas scholarship uh, after the waitlist and then uh, after that uh, I got um, uh, I went to a pre uni. Uh, uh, pre-uni program, a uh, preparation program at uh, Taylor's University called ADP, American Degree Program for one year. Uh, during one year, during during the duration of one year, uh, we have to do some preparation to apply for our universities. So in that one year period, we have to we have to do our SAT test, our TOEFL, our university essays, and our uni application through Common App. So like for SAT is is an exam for the U, US for the university to to see our uh, uh, performance in uh, mostly in our reading and math skills. The math skills is like 
quite quite easy if you um if you like get in uh, SPM like result for B plus and above. So so it, it's kind of like um not not too hard for the SAT maths, but for the re English reading skills, it's kind of hard. I also struggle with that part, but in the end, uh, I did it, and it's kind of quite hard for me because like uh, I didn't have any English background much, so so it's kind of hard for me. And also for the TOEFL, it's an English proficiency test where um, it's it's have like four four categories like reading, listening, speaking, and writing. It's uh it's mostly be, uh, test on your skills in English. Okay, uh, for the university essays, like uh, for every university, the um they have their own essay that you need to do some of them like personal essays or why major essays or why do you want to go to that uni to these universities or how can you contribute to the community so, uh, and something like that and for choosing your universities um, the list will be provided by Petronas um, it's uh, the university is uh, top 20 for each majors um, the, the the ranking is based on the QS ranking, so so we you have to choose from the list of the Pretonas provided, and you cannot choose outside of this list. Okay, uh, and so like um for the um American degree program, the structure of the class is similar to university subjects, and because of this, like some subjects can be transferred to the university that you are, that you will be admitted to. So your workload in uh, in your degree life can uh, it will become less less hard. So I think this is one of the perks of doing American degree programs because like you can be, you you can less your burden at the states uh, and also like you can choose your own classes um, depends on the your availability and your prerequisite classes. And then uh, after you finish your one year program, you need to fulfill two, two requirement. That is, you have to get your university in the Petronas list. And also you have to get your CGPA 3.5 and uh, 3.5 and above to go to the States. If not, you have to stay at Malaysia. So like after, after I fly here um, on, 2018 and will be graduating in next year. So uh, here's the general flow for my degree program. Uh, so this is for the College of Engineering uh, plan. Uh, I'm not so sure about the College of Liberal Arts, Arts and Science. They have their own separate program. So here is my uh, uh, degree plan for my mechanical engineering classes. So like first one, we have a pre-major classes. This classes is like for the subjects needed for your admission to major. Uh, before uh, before I say this, like uh, when you go to the States, uh, you will get, you will get, uh, you will not admit it to your des designated engineering yet. Your your program will call, uh, call uh, pre-major mechanical engineering so you are technically not a mechanical engineering yet so this is uh, the subject I have to take to apply for your major so I apply for my major mechanical engineering class mechanical engineering major and I have to take some of these classes like physics chemistry calculus and fundamental of engineering classes and after uh, I done this classes around a year, I get admitted to my major during my second year or sophomore year. So here is the um, category for your major subjects, subjects that are needed to fulfill your major. Uh, I, it can be categorized into uh, these categories, your core subjects, your technical elective subjects, your capstone for project or in Malaysia, we call it final year project and also some other subjects like material science, engineering economics, um, electric uh, circuit classes, and etc. 
And finally, here's your uh, general education classes. This subjects is required for the College of Engineering class um, program. So here's uh, some category, uh, the categories for the general education classes, such as writing, social science, performance arts, cultures and ideas, history, professional ethics, social diversity and literature. So like, um, uh, here's uh, what I'm talking about, flexibility. Like besides your major classes, you, you have to also take uh, some others classes that is not related to your major. So like um, in each categories, you can take a, a myriad of classes like um, for literature I take I took um, introduction to children literature which is kind of fun for me because like um, the class basically about reading um, children materials like reading picture books reading um, some fantasy novels reading like Harry Potter novel and then you have to reflect on um, how they all like What's value that the author trying to trying to um, emphasize in the India uh, in India writing? Um, here's uh, the general um, uh, curriculum for the for the mechanical engineering classes. Um, you have to like have to take at, at least one hundred and thirty credit hours, and this is for around four years and. For each semester, I think you have to take maybe around 15 to 18 credit hours, which is a lot. Uh, it's, it's not mechanical engineering. It's basically for engineering uh, engineering program, the classes will become something like, something sort of like this curriculum. Uh, okay, um, so this is my um, life in the States. It's, uh, it's my experience. So like for my academic life, uh, for each semester, I took like 14 to 18 credit hours. So like it's around five to seven subjects. And the semester, they, they call fall, spring and summer. And for summer classes, it's optional. So if you, if you want to take it, you can. If you if not, uh, it doesn't matter. As long as you take it, take the fall and spring semester. And for each subject, uh, maybe they have their own project. So here's a picture of my project. Um, this is... Um, my Arduino project. So we have to do like some sort of problem solving project, uh, which like kind of fun for me because I have, uh, uh, I really love Arduino. So, so this is kind of basically um, one of my fun classes in, in my degree life. And also like um, we also built our own air motor here uh, for, the, uh, for only one part of it. So this is a new experience for me. Uh, I get to do my machining classes. This this class is called machining classes, where you have to uh, build your own air motor with the help of the uh, the assistant here. And the assistant is kind is very friendly and very helpful to you. So this class is very fun for me. Uh, uh, so like for petrol requirement um, in. To stay in the states, you have to get like 2.75 and above to stay here. To stay here, so like 2.75 is um, is achievable uh, most of, for most of the students. The the only hard part is like to get uh, for engineering for engineering is to get that major. So like if you don't get the major, like there's a consequences uh, that Petronas will take. So you have to be careful if you. If you got Petronas and going to the States, you have to maintain your major class. Uh, you have to get your major. So like, uh, so like, I'm going to like share a little bit of more of the uh, of, of, of how OSU uh, overcome the pandemic uh, of um, dealing with the pandemic life for the classes. So like, um, OSU start. Um, online classes during March 2020, uh, March 2020 um, is during our spring break. So, so, um, so OSU have a like a, a duration to to come up with a plan to to transition from in person to online classes. So, like for the for the March 2020 classes um, is spring 2020 classes. Um, most of the class is online. There's no labs, even though the, your class is lab, 
is fully online. So, so um, the professor have to come up with the plan how to transition from the in-person lab to online uh, labs. So like uh, after the spring 2020 classes, um, for fall 2020 classes, like the class is, some of the class is hybrid classes where half of the class is in-person and half of the class is online. Uh, for hybrid class, most of the class is the class that have labs. So, so like for the labs classes, like we have to go to the campus to take our labs and and take our data and we and after just for the date just for the data purposes when we go to the labs. Uh, here's uh, my classes for fall 2020 and spring 2021. Um, you, you don't have to worry about this class. Like um, it's my preference to take. Uh, a few classes that I'm interested uh, and the maximum credit hour you have, you can take in the state is 18 credit hours and the minimum is 12. So, so I think uh, for the fall 2020 classes, I took 18 credit hours and for the, the, spring, the spring 2021, which is the last semester, I take around 16.5 credit hours. <coughs> Sorry about that. So like um, my uh, I I also beside my academy like I also work uh, in campus. So like here's some of my some of my working experience. So like I become I have become a student cook at a culinary production kitchen, which around summer 2019 and spring 2020, which is before the pandemic happened. Um, for this work, uh, it's basically just pack, just pack the, uh, it's a packaging process food for the student dining places. And uh, I also become a teaching assistant, we call it TA for the Arduino classes, which is the, the class that I have to do the project for um, starting spring 2020 until the, until last semester. Uh, so the the job is basically just assist the professor and the the instruct the um the lab the lab assistant to in lecture activities and lab section and lastly i become a i have become a grader for thermodynamics classes which is last semester this class is basically um just assist the professor in grading student assignment so like uh for student organization activities, like I involved in uh, in a club called Malaysian Association Organization or MASA, which is a, a Malaysian organization in the US. So, like, if you have an if you have any question regarding um, life in the U in life, especially in OSU, you can you can just check it check their social media. I provided here to see like how uh, what activities or event that will be well uh, that have been held for the pre for the past years and also if you have like if you want to ask some technical stuff about how to go how to like apply for the universities how how's life in the osu you can ask them in their social media i have been involved uh, as a photographer and a participant for the events um Mainly uh, for the, the main event that I think is most interesting is the Malaysian Festival 2019, which is two years um, before, uh, for the, for it's two years ago. It's kind of fun for me. Uh, I got to meet a lot of new, I, I, I got to meet a lot of new friends, new students there. Um, and also I got to meet uh, Malaysian all around the US. Because like this program is like, it's like basically uh, a gathering for Malaysian to meet their friends. Uh, I also have uh, be uh, get, become a media director for the electoral board e -board, um, uh, at to, uh, during 2020 and 2021 term, which is last term. So, uh, so like here's the picture for the event. So. 
uh, in the right top. Here is the Malaysian festivals. Like, see that uh, 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 there's um, there's a lot of um, students there to participate in the event. So it's it's like uh, kind of crowded, but it's also a lot of fun for me. And also here's the uh, graduating seniors for fall 2019, yeah, 2019. So I become a photographer at, um, during uh, so during the event. Here. Really? Yeah. Back, right. This one. Uh, I think uh, is it? Hakim. I think it's Zam, Zam. Zam Hakim. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 And, and then also here's uh, our performance during the major festivals. Um, I joined, uh, perform the, uh, join the compound performance. Like here's me at the at, uh, at the last row here. So it's it's like kind of fun because like, I have experience playing compound before. So this one is kind of like showing our uh, our culture to to the OSU. All right, so uh, other student organization activity that I joined is called Taste of OSU. It's a cultural event that is held in OS OSU annually. So like here's the, is, here is the platform for the international student to show their culture, their performance, their food, and their, ex uh, and their country to the OSU community. Um, I are involved during 2019 and 2020 as a participant representing Malaysian um, I can like uh, I can show the videos like uh, I can show the videos uh, uh, can you uh, can you guys uh, see the videos boleh 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 um, boleh dengar tak tak I think uh, it's up. Okay, uh, we are now. Waiting up, waiting up. Okay, uh, the uh, new performance Titorang time, uh, case of OSU 2019. Itu je uh, sedikit so, se sedikit preview kepada saya punya uh, kepada kami punya persembahan di Test of OSU. From where you guys belajar menari ya? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, ni ada ada seorang senior ni dia um, ajar kita orang koreografer untuk event ni so dia memang ajar betul-betul lah. So 
ada at least macam kita orang training selama sebulan untuk event ni so power 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 <laughs> so like uh to that, that's my uh, experience like do, doing the performance live in in public so it's kind of nervous for me but it's kind of fun um uh also like uh, i also join uh, first alumni and robotics at ohio state like mostly i involved in photographer uh, become a photographer or videographer for their events like um here's la uh, some of their events that i join is uh, 2019 first deep space uh uh anjuran central of robotics innovation and also first league lego fll regional qualifier at uh, at the OS, osu so like here's uh, some pictures that i took during the events so like um this event is like for middle schools and high school students so like at the at the bottom of this picture the the robot here is built by high school students so i'm kind of impressed by them that can they can build this kind of robots cuz like i i didn't uh, i didn't have the uh, the experience to build this kind of robot so i'm kind of impressed by them to oh. have built such oh. a large robot bawa ni ah second yeah. high school high school student so ni size dia like human size kan uh, oh yeah lebih kurang human size yeah. Mama, uh, I'm kind of impressed by them that they can build this kind of robot. So like um I also joined an organization called Malaysian Islamic Study Groups called MISD. So like the, uh this this organization is like uh is a Malaysian Islamic group. So like if you want to feel the Islamic vibes here, you can join <laughs> you can join this group. And also like um in this uh in, when i joined this uh, organization also i i met with a lot of so um not just senior but super seniors uh the former malaysian student that have have studied in the us and also work here also so i can so like the, where so like i also, i listen uh, i hear their stories on how and their journeys to it, uh in their studies and how they find their job here and currently like some of them like have uh worked in big companies such as caterpillar and so like uh so like it's kind of interesting to hear their stories from like maybe before the 2000 to the 2000s year so like for me it's kind of interesting that, and how they uh, decide to work here rather than work in malaysia uh for this organization i'm also involved in photographer and videographer like and the, here is some events that i join it, like iftar jamai malaysian spring retreats tarbiyah vir and muktama muktama is like a uh, uh it's like a conference where uh where like it's like it's like a tablet i think it's not tablet it's like um uh pusat uh macam dia buat pusat ilmu macam dia kumpulkan beberapa speaker yang terkenal untuk bagi talk dalam program ni. So uh, antara speaker-speaker yang pernah bagi speak uh, dekat Mutama uh, Dr. Rozaimi pernah datang pernah bagi talk dekat uh, sini uh, I also become the assistant media director for this term. Uh, if you want to check out their events or their activity you can go to their social media i just put here is here's their social media uh, facebook and instagram um here's are some pictures that i took um during the events um here this is for the malaysian spirit tricks where we uh here some sharing session from the education officer education malaysia officer at here and here's the iftar iftar jamai that is held 2019 and here's the tarbiyah wheel is basically just camping uh in uh, at the ohio um here's the mutama uh so like i got a chance to meet with dr mazli uh, dr mazli here during mutama 2019 so it's kind of macam 
rezeki kan dapat jumpa dengan dia and dia pun bagi sharing sikit pasal pendidikan Malaysia pendidikan Malaysia dan macam berdiskusi dengan kita orang pasal pendidikan Malaysia dekat utama ni uh, so like uh, another thing like uh, social gathering kita orang pun buat social gathering and traveling in the US ni sesama kita sesama Malaysia student and also some seniors like we go to cabin trip we have also have raya event housewarming and sport trips so like here are some pictures of my social gathering here here is like uh, our seniors gra- uh, graduation we celebrate our seniors that going to be that's that's uh, will be graduating and here is our uh, our raya event and in the middle picture here is i i went to snowboarding it's my first time doing that uh, here first time doing first time <laughs> Ini snowboarding tak tak pernah pernah rasa nak pergi snowboarding. So uh, here's our raya events I, uh, this year and here's our cabin trip uh, in Michigan. Uh, here's is my traveling. So, so like basically this is mostly the pictures. Here's is in Chicago the, the Bean. Um, here's in uh, Florida. Uh, I think this is also in Florida. Yeah. Here is the Niagara Falls like we we went uh, on a like we went on the f- boat trip here so like we can see the Niagara Falls up close mm. so like here here's uh here's some of my pictures like it, this is in in the New York cities um here's in uh, in the Pennsylvania state universities um here's my picture at Cedar Point is a amusement park and here is i think is one of the universities i don't remember is either harvard or mit here and some of the pictures that i took uh yeah, during my travel I, here is mostly in the new york and at the bottom is the niagara falls here so it's like very very close to the niagara it's very very, very like we have to wear our raincoats because like, it's like very very wet um uh is we kena tempias the uh i told you know uh here's some sceneries during my travel i this is the broken bridge i think in the new york and here's uh some uh i don't remember this place because but it, the, the view is quite nice for me so i i, I took the pictures Okay um so like other related topics like uh, I want to de- I want to share here is like um like um so like uh, how I go to my classes do before the pandemic uh, I I uh, I either like walk there or ride ride a, ride a bike or take take the bus so like so like it's basically um it's like 15 to 20 minutes just for walking because like my my house is very my my house is very far from the camp not very far but uh it's still considered far from my from the campus so the journey is like 20 minutes to the campus and also like uh for going to my classes like it depends on how i structure my classes sometimes i have a two hours gap sometimes i have only 15 hour gap so and the building is like sometimes it's just five minutes a walk away or just or maybe 10 minutes walks away depending on the buildings uh for the food like uh, makanan halal kat sini banyak je macam bahan mentah seperti ayam atau daging senang nak dapat so tak perlu risau sangat kalau pasal makanan halal dekat sini kalau tak kalau tak ada makanan halal pun boleh makan seafood uh, seafood pun sedap lah and also uh, solat jumaat solat jumaat kat sini ada dua session uh, dua session uh, solat boleh dekat kampus ataupun kat masjid berdekatan masjid pun naik bus dalam around 10 minit sampai itu so, um, ada kalau ada soalan macam kalau solat solat jumaat tu clash dengan kelas atau exam ke um, sama ada boleh 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 apa 
boleh tanya profesor tu kalau nak skip kelas boleh ataupun nak buat exam tu on another day pun boleh kalau tak boleh pun uh, tak boleh nak buat apa uh, macam saya ni pernah macam bincang tak, lah. uh, boleh berbincang dengan profesor tu hmm. macam uh, tapi ada certain macam ada satu 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 time tu ada satu macam fall 2020 Kelas saya time soal Jumaat untuk dua session So saya tak boleh nak pergi So soal Zohor je lah Faham faham Eh hey, you guys kalau ada beberapa soalan boleh tanya dekat ruangan chat ya Haa So Haa Tu je kot So like uh, here's some of the tips that Haa uh, I managed to think of thing for, my, for me uh, At this short period so like Uh, when you want to pick your universities um, uh, for the top 20 universities that profit, profit has provided, like do some research on the universities. Like, um, don't just choose and pick with, with your friends or or just like you just want to go to the university like maybe MIT or Harvard. Because like, um, it depends on your SAT on TOEFL score because. Uh, Because like um, when you want to apply the universities, you have to pay a fee, maybe around seventy five dollars, around three hundred ringgit Malaysian something like that. So, uh, so like it's kind of like expensive, and Petronas only spot can give you Petronas will sponsor you only five universities. So you have to make a wise choice, like how many university that you wanted. Uh, so like you can find what uh, some interesting things in those universities, maybe a club or maybe a research research program that you are interested in maybe doing in the universities. Um, uh, in the uh, uh, you can also find some information in uh, in their websites, and this information can or cannot be used in your university essays depending on how well you structure your essays and you can also ask some of the seniors that have that come that have, that have like study in the US like ask them like what what are some of the interesting parts in those universities like how how uh, how they did their university's essay and so on um, another thing is like you have to have your the courage to ask question because like Uh, when you have your when you in in your degree life like if you if you don't know something is like the professor doesn't like you have to ask your professors and the professor is willingly to help you like it's very very friendly with you because like, I, I have a few classes that uh, I didn't understand some of the concept and when I ask the professor like some of the professor is very friendly friendly for me uh, and The explanation for one to one, uh, one to one is very like understanding. And if like I didn't understand, I the professor will try to com- like try to make me understand the concept even more. And also like I, some of them like very um e- eager like if you ask them about their research paper or their this uh, yeah their research, uh, and what are they doing right now? So they will. They will explain to you, and you will have your connection with them. If you want to pursue like higher degree, maybe master or PhD, you can ask for a letter of recommendation from them. Um. Uh. So another thing is like me. Uh. You like doing some networking with former Malaysian students, like um maybe uh because like. Uh, they will they will will help you if like you have some crisis like maybe if you want to ask them about um, how to maybe like m- one of the famous question is like how to get their license how to do taxes some uh, in the US so the the so like um, do do networking with the former Malaysian students uh, another one another thing is like manage your time and financial wisely so like uh like i think manage the time is like most of the basic things in in students life so please don't procrastinate especially in your degree life <laughs> i i have uh 
uh, taste the, the the consequences of doing procrastination in daily life, and also like uh, please like do like manage your finance finance wisely. Like even though you have like a lot of money, but uh, please like allocate some money for emergencies uh, and stuff like that. Because like who knows like uh, what will be like uh, who knows like what the future awaits for us. Uh, so um, uh, another tip is like know your limits, because uh, strength and weaknesses. Uh, because like uh, when you take your subjects in here, you have to know like how many subjects that you can take and how and you how can you manage. Because like may, maybe like uh, some of the students maybe just want to just study all the way throughout the semester. Some student maybe wants to go travel during their breaks. So just uh, you have to know your limits, like how many subjects that you can take in one semester. And, uh, and like, if you want to work also, you have to manage your time wisely to balance your work and your academic life. Uh, another tip that I can give is like, always communicate with your sponsor because like, um, if, uh, if you have any question, just ask your sponsor. Don't, uh, jangan simpan empty uh, consequencesnya maybe berat lagi sebab lagi-lagi kalau Petronas ni dia ada kontrak dengan ada bond selama ni bertahun so apa-apa pasal scholarship apa pasal pasal scholarship ke ataupun pasal kelas ke macam just tanya je dekat sponsor takut nanti dia orang macam, macam takut langgar kontrak tu yang tu yang bahaya tu kalau langgar kontrak tu uh, yes, dia have a Aku keburukan yang um, memang sangat-sangat buruk lah Dia punya consequences uh, And also maybe try some self-improvement activities Or join a few clubs Like uh, ada je clubs macam menarik kat sini Macam outdoor activity clubs or rock climbing clubs And also like ada activity macam snowboarding uh, trip So if you have the time and the finance Just join them because like these activities um, tak ta boleh nak jumpa kat Malaysia so kalau ada peluang tu join je lah and uh, the lastly just uh, spend time with your family and friends because like um, duduk, dekat, duduk dekat negara orang ni macam kadang-kadang homesick so uh, boleh boleh buat anxiety and depression kalau tak terkawal so um, selalu lah uh, apa uh, jumpa kawan-kawan simbang dengan dia orang kalau ada ada masalah just tanya dia orang boleh ke dengan masalah sebab uh, dekat sini the only thing that uh, connects you is your friends and your uh, dan kawan je yang tahu hal ehwal kita so uh, janganlah uh, gaduh-gaduh sangat uh, then just improve your relationship with your friends and family Okay, uh, I think that's all the tips for me. Um, so here's my contact information if you have any question, if you want to ask after this or maybe like uh, just want to see my house, the activity, how's the life in the US. So I'm mostly uh, active in Instagram, like if uh, during the travel, if not, I really active in the Instagram. So. Uh, I think that's for my presentation. Uh, thank you. And uh, sorry, uh, maaf kalau ters, ta, 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 ta lancar sangat present sebab ni rasanya macam first time present pasal uh, life saya dekat US ni. Uh, thank you. Okay, Roman. Sorry. Okay, kita ada soalan daripada Cik Aisyah. Cik Aisyah dia nak tahu uh, bidang apa lagi yang pernah dia tawarkan selain pengajian, apa yang tawarkan dekat pengajian kat sana selain engineering? Um, Kalau ikutkan kalau untuk batch saya ada kawan saya dia ambil subjek psikologi kat sini so nah tu menarik sikit so ada je yang ambil Petronas juga ha ada Petronas juga psikologi ah, ada Petronas ah psikologi ada Petronas ada juga ada Petronas um, Petronas tawarkan subjek macam economics computer science um, baru-baru ni untuk um, batch 2 tahun bawah saya junior saya um, yang datang sini ke OSU ambil me, major matematics 
So uh, Petronas uh, slab, ada je tawa slab engineering macam uh, geologi pun ada juga. So uh, tengok tengok apa Petronas offer untuk tahun ni. Saya tak pasti sangat uh, subjek yang uh, apa kah major yang di offer untuk tahun ni tapi uh, mostly lebih kurang macam tahun lepas. So boleh tengok um, iklan-iklan Petronas offer untuk Petronas scholarship. Okay, kalau macam Lukman, uh, bond dengan Petronas berapa tahun eh? Um, ikut, ikut duration belajar. So macam duration belajar saya lima tahun. So bond saya dengan Petronas pun lima tahun. Oh, okay. Lima tahun bekerja dengan Petronas. Lima tahun bekerja dengan Petronas. Okay. So ada soalan daripada Naim. Uh, what does it takes to be a good mechanical engineering student? Do we need to have a good imagination skill? Soalan ni susah macam mana? <laughs> um, ja, um, for imagination skills, um, it's, it's a good to have a good uh, excellent imagination skills but um, kalau kat sini mostly pasal critical thinking skills and like how well do you use prob- uh, solve problems in like in a class or in a project because like um, some projects may, maybe needs you to do some uh, extra research because like um, currently I'm taking my final year project um, our team do a, a project of uh, in robotic fish so like some some of the skills that needed maybe uh, you have to think outside the box like you like some some of the concept I mean, doing the project is not in our course subject, so you have to go deep, deep down to do some research. Maybe like, let's say like, uh, for example, how to build the robot fish, uh, how to build the body of the robot fish. Because like, you have to think about uh the, uh the buoyancy force, uh how to make it waterproof, like, um, how to control the, uh, stru- the mechanism of the fish. So you have you have to take into that consideration and like for me uh, it's good to have a imag- uh, high imagination skill but if you don't have you can like uh, improve your imagination skills um, throughout your life especially in like degree life you, it, will, it takes times but for like for me uh, uh, it depends like uh, what interested you uh, what interested in like in mechanical engineering because like mechanical engineering have a lot of uh, categories that you can go like uh, for me i'm interested in dynamics and robotics so from so like that's problem solving skills and math skills is like crucial in that uh, in, in that field i hope i answer your question oh, okay selalu main kan Uh, tengok kalau kata tengok uh, apa yang uh, Lukman share Lukman hmm. banyak uh, dalam bidang Arduino ni maksudnya banyak berkecimpung dalam Arduino ni uh, hmm. Lukman sebelum ni, previously sebelum masuk bahaya masuk seluruh GWS ni ada tak belajar Arduino ni? sebab ada macam ha. ni, kita Aiman ni dia nak tanya kalau kata zero about Arduino or anything in coding boleh lepas ke sana Okay, um, for that like um, saya ada pendahan dengan Arduino sejak masa Emerson Typing so sebab tu saya memang minat sangat sebab dah ada pendahan awal tapi macam untuk kelas Arduino yang saya ambil ni dia memang ajar dari basic macam oh, bagi macam ajar orang yang memang tak pernah sentuh Arduino pun kelas tu dan saya macam saya jadi teacher assistant untuk kelas tu saya ada je nampak macam memang orang ada zero, zero knowledge pasal Arduino tu so memang kelas tu daripada zero from uh, lepas dia keluar daripada kelas tu at least ada basic Arduino coding and Ar- Arduino structure so tak perlu risau uh, kalau ada zero knowledge pasal Arduino pun kat sini dia akan uh, ajar dari zero okay, kalau macam Lokman kan jadi orang kata uh, assistant kepada professor kan untuk ajar Arduino tu hmm. maksudnya rakan-rakan yang lain pun sama juga ke memang Lokman volunteer to be Oh, uh, teacher assistant ni dia uh, job, so oh, dia, uh, ada uh, dia, dia, dia bayar, ada ada rate dia macam saya dibayar 95 dolar per hour 
Hmm. Oh kira banyak buat side income lah kat sana Ya boleh lah Kalau yang macam kerja Kerja yang tadi Roman cakap kerja dekat kitchen tu kan Yang ha. ada orang kata apa consequence tak kalau kata macam Petronas Tahu maksudnya student ni bekerja Dia benar oh, uh, Petronas benar je Part time oh. job Sebab uh, dia, dia asalkan jangan luar kampus Sebab Uh, luar, sebab dia sebab internship student hanya boleh kerja uh, in campus saja dan uh, set, dan uh, dure, uh, total jam boleh kerja untuk international student hanyalah 20 jam per week ok baik uh, macam saya nak tanya tadi yang macam awal-awal tadi Lokman ada cakap uh, Lokman ada dapat uh, sponsor Mara terpilih hmm. Mara dah hmm. set but then you go for Petronas ada apa-apa efek ke dengan Mara tu? Ada Maksudnya macam mana? Maksudnya dah pilih tu dah sampai tahap mana? Dah uh, mana? Pilih tu tahapnya sampai dah dah nak daftar seminggu sebelum tadi daftar Oh masa dah ada buat preparation tu semua lah? Dah, dah, dah ada dah, dokumen dah sign semua dah minta chop pengesahan CJ semua dah 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 siap lah tiba-tiba dalam email dapat Petronas. Oh. Pasal terus-terus ambil Petronas lah tak fikir panjang lah sebab uh, aim aim for UK and US kan. Ha ah. Tu kira Mara tu kira let go lah buat inform Mara je lah. Ah uh, tak let go. Ah uh, tak tak pergi tak pergi daftar lah kan. Masih uh, tak pergi ah. Daftar je lah. Okay, yang tadi dekat Taylor kan persediaan hmm. dekat Taylor University mm-hmm. During that time, how much Petronas uh, bagi uh, scholar? Uh? Um, allowance Petronas bagi um, Batch saya ni dia transition allowance dia Macam for, for the first first semester itu half half year saya dekat Taylor Saya dapat only RM600 saja kat uh, dekat Taylor Lepas tu start je second semester saya dekat Taylor tu dia tukar allowance jadi RM900. RM900 satu semester ke setiap bulan? Uh, setiap bulan. Maknanya macam dia transition tukar. <laughs> Maknanya sebelum ni RM600 um, setiap bulan. Lepas tu dia transition tukar RM900 sebulan. Hmm. So kalau kata macam RM600 ke RM900 tu setiap bulan. Hmm. Yang tu allowance saja macam yuran-yuran lain semua ditanggung lah Haa, ah, tu allowance saja RM900 tu hmm. Okay, 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 baik-baik Ada apa lagi ke soalan daripada kita punya uh, penonton Kalau tak ada Kita boleh berhenti ni, cikgu ada apa nak tanya ke? Eh, dekat FP tak ada soalan nak? Dekat FP pun ada soalan Okay, Luman, last. Last Luman. Cikgu nak, uh, cikgu nak tanya Luman, apa persediaan yang pelajar-pelajar ni perlu buat untuk dia uh, untuk dia pergi ke sana, pergi ke US? Maksudnya apa? Apa? Apa dia orang kena tahu? Apa dia orang kena tahu? Apa dia orang kena buat? Hmm, kena tahu tu um, uh, um, saya rasa Paling nak bersedia dari segi apa? Haa, okey Kalau kalau segi uh, barang-barang tu macam uh, uh, Mostly orang risau makanan kat sana Macam, macam <laughs> ada, ada ada certain bahan mentah kat sini macam tak ada So mostly macam kicap-kicap yang kicap jalin tu kan Memang uh, kicap jalin, sos cili tu Saya nampak memang ramai yang akan bawa <laughs> Dari Malaysia sebab memang susah Bukan susah jumpa, ada je tapi tak sesedap di Malaysia So um, Macam preparation ni like, Yang kedua saya rasa Pasal uh, Kalau dah dapat dah nak, dah nak gerak ke US tu Macam dah dapat University offer Dah dapat um, Tiket flight dah, dah tahu tarif flight semua tu dah, dah dah semua tu Yang ni Kena cari rumah awal lah Sebab Kat sini Bukan datang Tiba-tiba dari rumah tak uh, Memang kena cari rumah tu sebelum datang sini So hmm. uh, cara-cara nak da- dapat rumah tu macam mostly tanya ada website dia ataupun just uh, 
try tanya senior bagi recommendation rumah apa yang sesuai rumah apa yang dekat dengan kampus rumah apa yang murah rumah apa yang selesa jadi macam itu preparation yang saya rasa yang penting lah saya nak bagi tips untuk interview Lokman waktu interview dengan Petronas tu macam mana Lokman yakin boleh dapat tips nak nak kata apa nak boleh beat lah kandidat yang lain waktu uh, untuk Petronas punya slot tu hmm. macam apa yang saya ramai kan orang kata ramai hmm. nak apply so macam mana tips yang kata yang boleh yang uh, Lokman yakin kalau kata apa, Lokman rasa tips yang ni sebab kalau Lokman dapat mungkin lah hmm. Saya jawab pun <laughs> uh, Macam apa yang saya rasa um, boleh bagi macam ras, uh, pen, Macam Saya rasa macam mostly leadership skills lah boleh nampak Bukan uh, leadership skill ni bukan macam uh, orang tu macam jadi ketua directly from like maybe case study and ada group kan so bukan dia yang handle semua benda tak macam lagi saya leadership skills ni macam cara dia control dynamic of that group macam uh, macam dia tak sem- dia tak ba- dia tak banyak macam dia contribute dia, tapi dia contribute in macam nak bagi group tu live dynamic group tu macam meningkat macam maybe uh, ada certain Uh, pelajar macam dia introvert diaman so maybe group leaders tu tolong dia untuk bagi night sikit maybe bagi contribus bagi dia suruh contribute sikit dalam group assessment ke so and then also like maybe communication skills tu memang paling penting macam uh, walaupun rasa tergagap sikit eh, tapi macam at least ada confident nak bercakap tu penting tu bagi saya uh, antara boleh bagi macam ni lain ke lain Ada ada juga orang tanya tu Hai Lukman, adakah cukup hanya iPad untuk diberikan di UCT Or laptop isi required? Um, okay so um, Kalau kat sini um, I think engineering perlu pakai laptop kan? Ah, uh, It's better to have a laptop eh, for me because like engineering courses ni software engineering dia memang uh, banyak digunakan uh, ada software macam orang panggil MATLAB MATLAB tu memang every semester uh, ada kelas yang akan pakai MATLAB tu but uh, ada je macam uh, computer lab yang di- department provide for student if like let's say the the laptop is cannot uh, support the software so So, you, uh, computer lab ada je boleh digunakan for student to utilize the uh, utility So ada yang tanya, in term of industrial exposure kat sana macam mana? Especially during internship? Um, internship saya tak, tak, saya tak ambil internship because like um, kat sini tak wajib internship oh. So tak, tak wajib untuk uh, graduation tapi kalau nak buat internship boleh je just nanti sebab dia tak required so Petronas tak 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 bagi sponsorship untuk buat internship dia yang perlu je baru Petronas sponsor but um, uh, kalau for industrial exposure um, akan ada setiap setiap minggu maybe um, engineering department akan buat satu sharing session ataupun satu trip untuk pergi dia orang pun untuk bagi share talk untuk uh, apa apa um, apa industri ni nak uh, ataupun apa industri ni buat macam kat sini OSU ada terikat dengan Honda so memang most of the talk akan ada berkaitan dengan Honda dia orang punya automation even in final year project ada juga macam Honda punya project untuk dia offer kepada student untuk buat projek tu dengan dia orang. So ada je peluang exposure untuk industri. Even ada career ada career fair dekat sini memang uh, memang sangat-sangat aktif. Uh, so um, ja, student kat sini mostly yang buat internship lah. Even tak diperlukan tapi 
uh, kalau sembang yang budak lokal dekat sini memang akan dia akan sembang memang mostly cerita pasal internship dia orang apa dia orang buat kat Honda kat Boeing ada maybe NASA uh, so memang kat sini banyak exposure industry lah kalau siapa yang berminat tu try pergi career fair just talk to dia employer ataupun just sembang dengan budak lokal memang menarik lah atau ada sambungan soalan tadi lah kata bila balik Malaysia pun tak ada intern ke macam mana atau terus um, memang terus kerja oh memang boleh lepas eh dia macam uh. dia sebab itu kan payment pada MCT lah kan uh. tu masa depend pada placement lah kan ha uh, macam uh, ada, ada placement uh, tak juga uh, insyaallah ada, ada placement macam senior saya yang baru grad dekat sini um the dia interview sebelum final sebelum final lepas tu tak selesai dia dah dapat kerja. Okey mungkin ada satu last soalan kita terlepas tadi. Uh, untuk interview memang full dari English ke boleh mix? Um macam it's better to do fully English but uh, setakat ni macam tak ada lah orang nak cakap kena uh, cakap kena uh, tak ada interview tiba-tiba stopkan korang supaya cakap english tak macam just communicate just communicate well and be confident be confident yeah right. penting confidence dia orang kan nak tengok pun kita punya grammar ke apa kan penting hmm. tak ah uh, so, uh, uh, for like communication kat sini macam budak local dia tak kisah apa you if you like speak in broken english ke apa they they will not judge you you just like cakap je macam broken pun macam, macam tak, tak tak ingat satu kata tu just describe that word so maybe they will understand because like uh, i have like some of the experience when when talking to them like something maybe just uh, work related or some homework related uh, so like nak cakap kadang-kadang ada satu word tu macam tak ingat apa uh, kata english dia tapi macam memang try betul-betul lah macam dia orang uh, tak dia orang still macam tak tak dia orang macam take macam memang baik ah macam, macam muka dia orang cakap take your time. Ya, dia dia memang baik ah tak ada nak judge sangat. Okey, baik. Terima kasih Lokman. Rasanya tak ada soalan aku. Okey eh. Okey. Tak ada aku, tak ada. Tapi tak ada kan soalan. Okey, kalau tak ada kita habis kat sini. Terima kasih kepada saudara Lokman. Uh, kerana sudi berkongsi meluangkan masa pada hari ini uh, okey semoga apa yang dikongsikan tu dapat memberi manfaat kepada orang lain okey sebelum kita akhiri uh, kita juga nak terima kasih kepada kita menyerahkan strategi uh, MRSM Typing ah uh, rakan strategi antara typing iaitu unit bimbingan konseling MRSM Typing Amans Media TNF Energy Pembahar serta Outpost Typing okey So jangan lupa esok pertemuan kita pada waktu yang sama untuk dengar study apa study abroad tips untuk negara Canada. Okey baik. Terima kasih. Terima kasih Lukman. Terima kasih Al. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.